Hello everyone at our channel ASICFW.io. Today I want to make a short overview of energy consumption, particularly the minimal energy consumption of the usual S9 with our firmware. I've already configured everything, I'll show you a little bit later now. So for statistics, our device has already been working for 25 minutes. We see 9 terahash, 9.2 for 677 watt. We have a watt meter. We will now look at it. Well, here it is. And it shows 677. All the same with the web interface value. Here we see the cable. Here is our S9. The energy block is ISIC 51. Uh, the ISIC is usual. I want to show you what settings have been made to achieve this result. Let's look uh, at the auto tuner. Here it is. Uh, I choose here 700 watt. For better values I have corrected them a little bit. These corrections can be done in the manual mode. Here I picked the lowest and uh, 418. It's here, 418. Then we click Save and Run and the Auto-Tuner starts running. Our Auto-Tuner has already worked out, so we can see its result. And the result is 9 terahash for 777 watt. I'll also show you the chips. Here they are. They are all in the green zone. It means that every chip is working in its perfect mode and that will really extend the life of your device minimum by five times. And at last, let's estimate our capacities, the energy consumption for one terahash. We see here nine terahash. The consumption is uh, 777 watt. Once again, I'll show you my watt meter, 677.6, let's take 678 uh, for the exact value. Now we use our calculator, 679 divided by 9, and we receive uh, 75.33, though sometimes we have even more terahash. Even you see it, 9.085, we can recalculate it with this value. 678 divided by 9.08 and receive 74.67 watt for one terahash. Thanks to everyone. Oh, one moment. Let's, let me restart the device to prove that this ASIC is working here. So we do the reboot. You see the wattmeter is 677 and it should go down now. Oh yeah, we see. It's dropping. The ASIC has rebooted. Thank you. See you again at our ASICFW.io.